Hi everyone, Nathan here again with another TrueTech troubleshooting tutorial. Today I'd like to talk about importing and exporting data in Adobe Lifecycle Forms. So I have a question from Andrew who has a form that has multiple pages and he would like to divide the pages up to various places in his enterprise, his corporate enterprise, and have people individually fill out pages and then import all the data back into one master form that has all the pages included and Adobe Lifecycle just doesn't give him any way to do this and so we've come up with a workaround for this and I wanted to demonstrate it to him and to all of you using a few little tricks in Lifecycle. So we have this form here and it has two pages in our hierarchy, page one, page two. It's very simple. Page one has a drop down in the text field and page two has a, a date field and a radio button. That's down here. And so in order to get Lifecycle to import all the data from the individual broken down pages into one, we have to first break down this form into two different pages. And so the way we do that is first we save this as a master. And I've done that. It's called master test. And then I want to come and I want to delete page two and then save this form now as page one we'll call it. And so I've already done that. We'll call it page one test. I'm going to replace the one that's there. All right. Then I want to close that, reopen my master, and now delete page one. And we've created a form that's just page two. And we're going to call that page two test, just to keep with convention. Replace the one that's there. All right, so we have that done. And so now we have three forms. We have master, page one test, and page two test. And so I want to be able to, out of Adobe Pro, I want to create some test data in each of my individual page forms and then bring that back into master test. So let's demonstrate that. So we'll go to page one first. And we're going to enter some information in here. We'll put in hello world blow that up so everybody can see it. All right, we just put the number three in Hello World. And then we're going we're gonna to take this and export by going to Tools, Forms, More Form Options, Export Data. When we do that, it asks us to create a file. We'll call it Page 1 Test Data. Save over top of the other one I've, I've used. There it is. Close that, not saving anything. Now we're going to go into page two test and do the same thing. Date field, we'll choose March 10th, 2014 as our date, that's today's date. And we'll choose the second radio button and do the same thing. Tools, forms, more form options, export the data, and we'll call it page two test data. Overwrite the existing field. All right, so we have both those files there. But now here's the problem that Andrew ran into when he wants to bring that data back into the master. So all his individual uh, employees have filled out their individual forms and now he wants to bring that exported data back into the master form that includes both pages. And here's what happens. He opens up his master test. He goes to tools, forms, more form options, import data, and he imports page one, let's say, first the stuff comes in. Page 2 still hasn't come in. So let's go ahead and import page 2 now. And lo and behold, when we do that, it wipes out page 1 data and sticks page 2 data in there. And so the dilemma is, how do I get both exported data files into the master test PDF? So here's the workaround. Here's the trick. First thing we need to do, we'll close this and we won't save it first thing we need to do is we need to open up those data files. So we're going to open them up in Notepad. Notepad, and let's open up page one test data. And when we do, we see an XML file. And I'm just going to edit it a little bit here with putting some carriage returns in, just so we can see the data structure. So it's a simple XML file. It's well formed. It's got, page, it's got form one, page one. It's got the two data fields and the data that it includes and then has the closing tags. So it looks just like any old XML simple file. 
And then now let's open up page two. Open up page two. Same kind of thing, except inside the form one tag is the page two tag. And so what I'm going to do here to make this happen, I'm going to open up another copy of Notepad. So I have my page one here, I've got my page two here, and I'm going to take from this XML file and I'm going to cut just the page two data. So let me show you this you know, in a stylized version here. All right. We're, so here, after we've formatted it, we're just cutting out the page two part inside the form one. So I'm going to cut that, I'm going to come over here, I'm going to paste it right below page one, and then I'm going to resave this as master test data. Of course, this name really doesn't matter. We're going to save it as master test data dot XML. And there that is. We can close that. We're not going to save it. We're going to close that. Okay. So now we're going to open up Adobe Pro. We're going to open up the master test. And we're going to do the import steps again. Tools, forms, more form options, import data. But this time we're going to choose master test data. And when we do, we get page one coming in and page two coming in. So I know I, I went over that quickly, but the whole idea of this is to be able to have the ability to divide up a dynamic PDF into individual pages and have individual people filling out different parts of the form and then bringing all that back into a form that has all the pages included. If you try to do this by opening up, say, page one test and then opening up another version of, of Acrobat with page two, and trying to, in like a normal PDF, a non-dynamic PDF, taking and dragging and dropping, so cutting this or extracting this page, and then, and then trying to insert it into this one, it wouldn't work because these are dynamic forms. And so dynamic forms have all this XML stuff under the hood, all this, all this coding under the hood, and Adobe doesn't like it when you try to extract and insert pages in the middle of dynamic forms. It messes up the hierarchy. So we have to simulate all that by creating a master with all the pages and then divvying those out, not changing any of this header information or any of this hierarchical information besides the one page and then fooling it by combining all the XML together. So I hope this helps. I know it's going to help Andrew because he's had a dilemma on his form. But hopefully his problem and this solution can help others too. As always, remember IT problems are usually simple, but they're never easy, and keep those questions coming. Thanks. See you next time.